All right, here it is, map fam. The new chair. I didn't do a assembly video. I want to dive straight into this because I needed a new chair, a comfortable chair, durable chair, something that was affordable but worth the price. And every time I tried researching chairs, the majority of people on YouTube were given a free chair. And I just don't trust that. Call me skeptical. I want to know if it's good by a person who bought it and not one of these review channels that just buy random chairs. I just wanted to know, a regular dude investing money, how is it? Now, this is a Killaby. Let me get this right because I'm about to praise the hell out of this for right now. Killaby KB8238. Now, this thing showed up. I ordered it Monday off Amazon. It showed up today, which is Thursday. I ordered it Monday night, and it showed up Thursday morning. So, this thing flew here quickly and there's a number of reasons why I chose this it felt like it was uh, by the reviews and the construction and the information it felt like it was the most bang for my buck I I just double checked I bought the last one for 140 bucks and um, the, you can get one right now for 180 on Amazon and it looks like there's only three available I don't know how you know quick they restock or how often they lower the price I caught it at a perfect time, I feel. Anyway, let's look at this beast because right when it showed up, I'll get you some good detail on here because right when it showed up, nice and heavy, I pulled it out of the package and I fell in love with each individual piece just based off of the look and the quality. That's a, a metal frame right there too. A lot of them have these plastic frames and that was a big selling point. Something that was real sturdy, high reviews, uh, looked clean. I didn't want anything that was bright or flamboyant with uh, like green. I'm not against it. Originally I was gonna get a green or orange. Those are my favorite colors, but I just wanted something that was more office looking than uh, fly. You know what I'm saying? Anyhow, let's start with the top down. Obviously, it's a gaming chair, so it has that racing look to it. I I could give or take it. I really don't care about the, the look, the racing look, as long as it's comfortable. You have this headrest pillow, which is absolutely comfortable. This lumbar pillow that can be adjusted by these straps. It's easier to do it from the back. You stand in the back and you raise and lower the straps. Now, the straps help keep it in place. I don't like those floating ones or at least the idea of the floating ones. Uh, because then they just, you know, they're flopping around. This feels like it's a memory foam. It's tough, but soft. It'll slowly get uh, pushed back out into position. Now, the seat I was worried about when I first took it out of the package because it's got some cushion there, but it's got some cushion there. However, it it's tough. It, it was rough when I first sat down. It was real stiff. Hopefully that's better with the sound. I noticed my uh, pop filter fell off my lapel mic, so I just put it back on. Hopefully that's not too bad, but you got some nice uh, padding on the edges here. I went with one that was a little bit wider. Didn't really focus heavy on that sit and tuck racing chair style just because uh, I personally don't care about that style. I never had it though. This is my first gaming chair. So I thought this would just be a little more comfortable. I like to kind of chill out. And I went with the gray and black, and it's kind of got like a suede look to it, which I really do like. I like that. And the armrests are 3D. It's not padding, but it's soft. It's not hard plastic either, as you can see. See me push down? But it's not... Uh, it's not hard, but it's comfortable. And it's a 3D armrest, which means you can lift it up. Sorry, the button's here to lift it up. And then you can lift it in or out. And then you can, let me put my foot here. You can push it forward or push it back. So it goes uh, front, back. Let's put the focus here. It goes front, back, up, down and then left and right, so side to side. That's what they call a 3D. There's a 2D, which I think is just up and down and front and back, but this has that side to side. Uh, you get a little wiggle to them, but I don't mind it. I don't think it's a big deal. And they are pretty 
pretty firm, at least right now, because they're new, I would imagine. And then you have the metal base. It's black painted metal base. And you can tighten the rocker. This chair has a rocker. And it has a... I guess if you want to take a nap, you can lean back on it. Uh, I was going to set the tripod up, but I think you guys get the idea. You can actually lean back like to take a nap and you can lean back a, a great deal. I mean, and it's so weird when I first did it, I honestly thought I was going to fall over. It rocks as it leans back. So you get this floaty feeling like you're going to fall over. And I'll tell you what, at first I thought that was such an, a stupid option because I got a small little area here. Uh, we're forgive the mess we're shipping out orders and i'm actually packing up little things because we're going to be moving in a couple months but uh, uh i don't have room in the new place i'm not going to have room to lean back unless i put the chair where it is now and lean back take a nap or something i thought that was just stupid however once i leaned back i was like damn that's comfortable so the bottom line worth every penny I'm in love with it ever since I started putting it together. Assembly's not easy, but if you've worked an honest job, take your time. It ain't nothing. I mean, assembly was nothing. Um, well, as far as like if you work manual labor, this assembly was a piece of cake. Anyway, the chair is comfortable. I don't, I'm not sure how it's going to be for long sits yet. I sat down in it for a little bit to get a feel. And... I, I think it's 10 times better than what I was using. I was using just a shitty regular office chair. This is now going to go to my daughter. Again, this was like a $35. It looks good. It's got padding here, but uh, really uncomfortable. I actually threw a, a little pad there. A, uh, I think that's even like a patio cushion uh, just to give it a little oomph. When you're sitting f editing, for hours uh this chair i just never got picky with my chair i just was like a chair's a chair i'll sit in whatever recently at a 24-hour live stream and i'm not even kidding for two days later my back had this pain it was like i pinched a nerve and i sat down like the next day and just from sitting in that same position on that old chair I immediately knew it was because I was sitting for so long and I was getting up every now and then stretching, but obviously the chairs are not meant, you know, for sitting for long periods of time, but we got a new game coming out called Days Gone. I'm going to be streaming that every day for the first week for a few hours at a clip. So I wanted a, a soft chair for that on top of all the editing I do and all the work I do at the computer. I'm sometimes I'm there for hours on end you know four five six hours so it's fantastic to be able to edit for a few hours and then jump into a live stream for a few hours and you know take breaks in between but be able to have a comfortable chair 140 bucks as of right now i am in love with this pick this wasn't the first one i picked up the first one i originally bought was a hundred dollar one and it was literally i'll save you the details but it fell through like within an hour. I was refunded, there was an error, there was no stock and it would be back in stock in one to two months. I could have just bought it from a different seller but as soon as I backed out of that order, I um, saw a different chair, a GT Racer I think it was called. It was 150 bucks I think. And I was looking at that for a day, all the reviews, because it had like 2,000 or 1,000 reviews, and it was a 4.5 out of 5 average review. But there was so many people who had gotten the chair for a review and gave it a high review, and there was so many YouTubers who did it, and I was just like, I don't know, something's off with this. And then I ran into the Killaby chair, and the, the stuff popped out a little more for me, like the metal base, the wider seat. Uh, the cushion, the memory foam, and a lumbar, just certain things jumped out at me. And I was like, yo, I think this is the one. So I bought it. I was nervous it would show up and be crap, but it showed up and I can love it. So I know a lot of people asked for my opinion on this once I got it put together. Because keep in mind, no one gave me the chair. I'm not, you know, I bought it with my own money. I could have bought whatever I wanted. And I'm ecstatic with my purchase. I'm actually excited 
to sit down and work on a project and see how comfortable the chair is. It fits my desk perfectly, especially raising the armrests. I mean, I'm trying to cover as much as possible. I don't know what else I can say, but the chair is friggin' fantastic. So if you want to recommend or if you want to wait a bit, I'm going to put this to use during our live streams, and I'm sure I'll definitely let you guys know, especially people who are subscribed to the channel, my opinions on this after sitting for a while. Uh, but yeah, I freaking love it. But we had some mail come in today, and I thought, we're already recording, let's pop open some mail. All right, I cut this open to make this quick. I don't want to dox anybody, but I... Uh, I received one of my comics in the mail today. Somebody gave me their address, which is undeliverable. I Again, I don't want to dox them, but here's the postage that went out, and it says undeliverable. This was returned back to me. If you guys are ordering one of my comics, please double, triple check your address. We have seven of these stacked in the corner. I'm trying to get in touch with people to get the correct address. I have seven people right now who did something wrong with their address, and the orders are just waiting for you to answer emails. Um, but if you're in the UK, I just want to let you know, your, your orders are on the way to the UK, uh, to the artist to ship out. But I just want to let you know, if you're in the US, and uh, check your email just in case uh, you got a message from me saying, hey, uh, what's up with that address? <laughs> All right, moving on. Moving on. All right, just make sure I didn't dox him. Nope, that's my address. Bang. So... I got a note. Bam. Hey, Ronnie. Oh, boy. Here's a little appreciation for all that you do for the Matt fam. The shirt was only available in extra large, but the sizes tend to run big. Let's look at this, and then I'll read the... Oh, ho, ho. what is that? Is that a uh, Dutch and the Predator? Wait. What's in his mouth? What's in his mouth, bro? Dutch has a weird face on. Storehole.com. I wonder what those pins are. I like the color. Get to the chop. Wait. Get to the Whopper. Make it a Whopper. It's a Burger King shirt. Oh, my God. What? Well, I guess this is a good time to show off my The Walking Dead mouse pad. <laughs> it's actually for credit cards for a comic store, but my comic shop is awesome, and they gave me that. A store hole looks like a sticker. We got Gross Guts Gang. All right, wait a minute. What is going on with my focus? Uh, oh, my God. It's like Super Mario, but he's puking. Oh, what is that? It's a little Game Boy. And then top secret. We've got two of those, it looks like. And then I'll be back with Robocop. And then we got a Frankenstein pin. I got a screenwriting book bag when I'm on the go. I'm starting to put a lot of pins on that because I'm getting a lot of pins. Here's that shirt. Get to the whopper. <laughs> I make it a Whopper, and it's Burger King. I tell you what, I don't know, but I'm going to have to look up this company. Uh, I never thought of a Burger King shirt with uh, Predator on it, but maybe it's one of those mock, you know what I'm saying, companies where they combine franchises. I like that. I really dig the color. I like the goofiness on that. I really dig that. It looks like a 1970s shirt, don't it? It's got this retro look to it. <laughs> I dig that a lot. Oh, wait, hold on. You know, I, I was about to say thank you very much and read the letter, but there's more in here. He gave me a hint as to what is something to drink, but I'm assuming this is all padding, but I don't know exactly what it is. Oh, look at that. Buffalo Track. Oh, Trace. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. That is awesome. We're going to sip on this. I love that, Buffalo. Uh, I've always been in love with Buffaloes, man. We're part Native American. Uh, I've heard a lot of stories about Buffaloes. I actually, uh, I was about to say met a Buffalo, but I've actually been around Buffalo in real life. 
Uh, it was near a buffalo farm. It was weird. It was like only for a little bit. I knew someone who had a buffalo farm and it was incredible. You could walk up right to the electric fence and see them. I know you can call them over and if they came over to the fence, you can get pictures petting them. They are just incredible creatures. And I just had this, I don't know, just this connection with, um, you know, being a tiny bit Native American and then, uh, you know, the buffalo being an, an American animal that was essentially killed off for the most part and knowing that I grew up uh, and I was able to pet some buffalo. It should, I don't know. I think that's just amazing. At least it's one animal I was able to uh, go near and see that I probably will never see again for the rest of my life. Because when, when do you ever get the chance to pet a buffalo unless you live in, uh, I don't know, <laughs> you know? All right, here we go. The Killaby chair with some Buffalo Trace whiskey. Where's the letter? And the Get to the Whopper shirt. Pretty freaking awesome day. Anyway, this continues, this letter continues. Um, the shirt was only available in extra large, but the size uh, runs a little big for wash care. And then it's uh, how to wash it without shrinking it. Enjoy the sips, brother. Dave504. The live stream, the 24-hour one, was great, and I stuck around for as long as I could, about 18.5 hours, and I'm glad it turned out well for your future internet uh, up and running, as well as to get your internet up and running. I had a similar situation years ago where the utilities needed to be uh, ran from miles away. I'll be here, as will the rest of the Map fam for you. Take care. Thank you very much, Dave504, for the awesome shirt and the whiskey so we can sip on during the Days Gone live stream event coming up tomorrow night in the brand new Killaby chair. This is gonna be awesome. Hell, I might even wear the brand new shirt. This type of shirt, I, I'll let you in on a little secret. These type of shirts, I'll toss them on right before I go onto a live stream or record a video. I'll take it off as soon as I'm done and I'll hang it up and wash it as little as possible. Some of these shirts that I really enjoy, I will only put them on for like a five or 20 minute recording session, or if I'm streaming a couple hours, I'll take them off, put them on the rack uh, behind me. And I do that a few times, wash them as little as possible, but I won't wear it like out and about unless I'm going to an event or something and wanna rock a pretty cool shirt. Anyway, Killaby, highly recommend it. Whiskey, always recommend it. And you can never go wrong with the Predator. All right, love you guys. Thanks for the support. Hope you appreciated a look at a chair that's actually comfortable from somebody who wasn't gifted it. So you can have an honest review. Let me know if this enticed you to pick up a Killaby gaming chair. And do not forget, it's a KB8238. Love you. Bye.